What up, dumb motherfuckers? It is Kush Coffee and Games. We are back right into Final Fantasy 15. As promised, we will be focusing on trying to get our flying car today. Turns out I did a little bit of research. It's actually not that difficult, and I'm pretty sure I have fulfilled the requirements, so all I have to do... Not hop around like a fucking moron, but call Umbra, go back to past Lucis, and we should get the quest pretty much immediately. Theoretically. Um, you can't get the flying car until the end of the game, though, which is kind of bullshit. I'm good. Not the greatest picture. Not the greatest one. Prompto. Come on now. Come on now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Spells. Spells. The things I basically didn't use the whole fucking game. Well, shit. I remembered to get a bong token, but I didn't remember to grab more coffee, so I'm gonna have to do that in the next uh, episode here. God, these loading screens can be a little bit meticulous. Although, I guess it is loading an entire open world. Actually, I never really considered that, but I give them a lot of props for the fact that it is, generally speaking, um, loading screenless. Like, I mean, you got loading screens like this. Oh, hold up. Pretty sure if we combine this with the other pieces, they form some kind of part. Let's not speculate. Let's ask an expert. Yeah, Cindy. Let's just hope old Sid doesn't feel too left out. Well, Sid should be in Hammerhead now. Um... Noctis, gear, kingly raiment with no jacket. Generates health and magicka faster. Kind of just looks better to me. For him. Huh. Kind of just looks weird on him when he's not older. Hmm. Not gonna lie, the shoes are probably not the most ideal for combat either, but whatever. It does look pretty badass on the guy. And it does give us some pretty good stat boosts. What does it do for the rest of them, though? Out of curiosity, is it better to have them with this gear or other gear or what? Uh, move freely and recover their strength faster. Critical hits more easily. Stat reducing status ailments. It's a pretty substantial amount more health for this, though. That gives me a wow, a big fucking strength boost for no jacket. Casual outfit makes you. Um, that jacket looks terrible on you, though. Defends against physical blows and invigorates the wearer's spirit. Eh, we'll leave you with that for now. It just kind of looks better on you. Cover strength faster, critical hits more easily, status ailments. Basically the same boosts. Kind of like you in that. The um, defense increase and shit is pretty nice. Now we'll just leave everybody in their outfits. Otherwise, it's all going to look types of goofy. Alright, 
So, now quest wise. Power to the pylons and to unknown functioners. There we go. And I'm actually going to drive there because I don't drive enough. Manual. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Maybe I'll end up wrecking this thing on the way. Oh, we can veer into the opposing lane. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Boof! Oh! Oh, the poor regalia. Oh, the window. Oh, that is such a good turn to take that, like, fucks everything up. Oh, Ignis, yeah, I can see that look of disappointment on your face. I know. I, I should have, uh, should have zagged when I zigged. Does it even go as fast anymore? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it still gets back up there. It's just not in the best of shape. Not seeing any cars yet, either, which is kind of unfortunate. Come on, there's got to be another car on the road somewhere. It's, uh... It might only be the blitz off, but... Ah, uh, damn. Break more things. Now then, let's start from the top. <laughs> I'd have to reset the car. Oh, I got some dents for sure. Of course, watch that be the one time there's a car coming towards me. was a hit. It still runs, though. Doesn't seem to be doing quite as good, though. Accident, but not enough damage to stop the bitch. Hmm. Thought that was a trail over there, but oh yeah. Oh, that Rockford! <clears throat> Let's burn some more fuel. Let's probably do this loop again. At least once. I'd be able to do more of a loop, actually. There's still quite a bit of fuel left in her. And I'd like to burn it all.
Yeah, we'll make it. Bars of gas. <laughs> oh, brutal. Might not be steering as well since I've hit as many things as I have. That could be part of why things are fucking up. I actually have to turn around and go a longer route. I don't know if we're actually going to burn all the gas that I need to burn. Ah, oh, we missed a vehicle at full speed. Damn it. Pretty good ways on that one little fucking segment. Oh, yes! Beautiful. I know it's kind of brutal. I just want to see if you can actually Let's break the Rodalia. Oh, no. Back up, back up. Considering we only burnt like one thing, we're gonna have to like go all the way back, I think. The way we came, and then maybe zig back down this way. I don't know. I want to burn all the fuel and have to push it in, just broken and out of fuel. And <sighs> I'm gonna help you out here, Prompto. We're gonna get Cindy's attention. Oh, oh, oh! We have actually broken it. Like broken, broken it. We got the big exclamation point and everything. Wow, I finally broke did it. Oh. That probably didn't help very much. I wonder. No. Yes. What's he got to say about it? Everything in order. Yep. All right. We got flashing lights and everything. We can only get it to 20 click or 20 miles, 20 miles per chocobo, guys. We got smoke coming out of the back. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> I was really curious if you could actually like break it, and it looks like we have done a substantial job of just. Busting this shit out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. The only really shitty part is, is when she services it, I believe she's gonna put gas in it too, and uh, that means we're not gonna get to push push it into the fucking gas station. Oh well. We're basically pushing it to the gas station at this point. Like, holy fuck, it's hurting. We have, uh, <clears throat> so I wasn't crazy when I noticed a sort of drop in the acceleration speed from start to fucking 30. Higher up it wasn't so bad, but the initial acceleration was definitely lower. We're gonna swap songs here, because it doesn't just automatically do it. Cindy 
could potentially be of the mindset that we're um, not worthy of the flying car upgrade yet. Once we get there and it's in this kind of shape, you know? We can see it though. We're almost there. We're running low on petrol. Mind if we stop to refuel? Yeah, we're gonna stop. Don't worry. Be my guest. <laughs> How kind of you to oblige. Oh, what? Oh, he actually got her to get 30 for a second there. Getting her to rev up a bit more. We've got other things to worry about with this thing anyways. We're here. Alright, so we got our quest to do. Here's the unusual parts that well, we got from the different bases. What's that you got there? Kinda hoping you could tell me. Bet your britches I can. Y'all must have traveled around the world and back again if you managed to get your hands on one of those. Okay, give me a little alone time with the old girl. Once I install this baby in her, y'all ain't gonna recognize her. Off you go. I reckon you'll be seeing the Ooh. world from a brand new point of view. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's sexy. Oh my god, that is sexy. So, y'all ready for takeoff? Fuck yes, service it first. Oh, okay, never mind. Customize first. What'll it be? What coat do you fancy? Deep blue. Oh, I'm afraid we're missing some things. Huh. Can't be green. Oh, God, no. Metallic racing green would probably not be too bad, but solid yellow, no. No. Metallic orange, no. Black Mika, oh. Or ivory, ooh. Anything in mind for the interior? Hmm. Caramel brown. How do you want the wheels? Night Star Gold. Night Star Gold it is. Well, here's what I can do for her. I feel like that's a little bit creepy. Suits it though. Maybe right there, so it's not on the door seam. about the decals Can I Is there a way to uh flip it? Damn. <coughs> oh, 
that's really unfortunate. I can't flip them, so go ahead Anything and take the you ones like? off. Maybe I'll leave the Lucy and Chris crest, but... That sucks. How about the decals? I don't know if I want anything on the top. That already looks pretty. Oh, never mind. That's kind of decent, I guess. There we go. What do you fix in to upgrade? I don't think I actually need the supercharger. It doesn't seem to do anything special with the uh, supercharger installed. So y'all just sit tight now. She's all ready for you. Have a look. <clears throat> I fail to see how, like, one part changed it that dramatically. How the fuck did we pick up a body kit, too? Press circle after achieving a certain velocity to take off. Tilt up and down to adjust your altitude and course. Tilt. Hold X to begin your descent. If you fail to land, the game will be over. We're gonna manual. What's the forecast? Clear skies, with the temperature rising. Fuck, that looks so good. Alright, where are we going here? We'll go to here, I think. Somewhere along now, maybe not. We'll have to go to, like, here or something. Somewhere where I get a nice straight stretch to land on. Maybe even up here. I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. Ready, guys? Are we ready for this? Let's wait till we get into a little bit of a straighter patch. Take off. Oh god. This is awesome. Taking the higher Holy shit. I hopped out. I didn't want to be like first person to miss out on all that shit, but that's fucking cool! Oh my god! Oh god, we can increase the speed. That's insane. Okay. I think I know where we're gonna go. We're gonna go in this direction over here. Can I make a mark? Damn, I wish I could. Because I want to go over to here and uh, take this picture up here in this camp. That's so fucking cool. Infinite fuel. Fuck, that looks sweet. Like, wow. Now, from what I hear, the landing can be quite fucking frick. You know what? Down there is a nice straight stretch. I'm gonna test the landing before I get too crazy.
This doesn't seem too, too bad. Oh, fuck. That wasn't bad at all. What's everybody's issue with it? That was nothing. Fucking saved us some time, too. I could probably land on something... At, well, I mean, I don't want to get too cocky, but I could probably land on something as short as that, or maybe even this road. Alright, let's see what it looks like when we actually just, like, straight up take off. Oh shit, Incredible. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Fuck yeah. Fuck, I'm surprised he doesn't want us to get pictures like this, man. <laughs> These would be some epic pictures. Prompto, you better be getting some. Damn, dude, doing just about a hundred. No, we are doing a hundred. We're doing over a hundred. We're doing damn near a hundred and ten. Believe this is the direction we need to be going in. Yes, yes. Correcting course. Fuck, this thing is so cool. From broken ass piece of shit, because I mean it got shot up and we broke it. To epic fucking flying machine. Okay. Where are we looking? Ah, oh, I'm going a little bit too far back. I guess we could just kind of aim for the damn volcano. It'd be awesome if it wasn't raining. Like, dick move. Dick move. I wonder if this also counts towards us getting AP. Damn. That's a big fucking hole in the ground. Goddamn Grand Canyon up in that bitch. We're getting there. The only thing that sort of sucks about the flying mode is that you have to do it yourself. You can't just tell Ignis to fly you somewhere. Apparently, he is incapable of flight. Alright, so here is a potential landing pad. But, we're going further ahead of that. And it is just up here past this bend. Started a synth sequence a little bit. Just up here, I believe. There we go. Slow our speed up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Land. Oh. I see where it could get tricky. But regardless, we made it for our second fucking trip, and across the map at that. I've also read that there is a dungeon that is only reachable with this thing, so... That's fucking cool. Does this thing do over 70 just as a speed? Oh, it totally does. So it's better than the turbocharger, if only by 5. I love that it has the altimeter and shit like that, though. And the leveling out gauge and all that. Like, that's so good. Proper music, I think, selection for this fucking car. Especially for our first trip out with it. The Contest of Aeons. We're unfortunately gonna have to hike to the top of that thing, I believe, again, to get a picture for view. Fuck yeah. So I'm not a breather. Oh, it looks so good. 
drives so good. Flies so good. Let's find somewhere dry. Good idea. We could stay here, but we could just go to the top of the fucking mountain where I'm pretty sure the quest is. Yep, views volcanic inspiration. We're gonna do that. May as well take the car up there. Not up the volcano, don't worry. We're not gonna try anything that stupid. Um, Time to go. All right. But we are gonna take it over to the next parking spot. the red one? Maybe collision warning? Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about, like, if you look at the main dash where the speedometer is, there's, uh, there's two little darker spots that you can see. Everybody out. See how it's flashing red? And one turns red that way? Is it because that's the way I'm turning? Is that my signal? Is that my break? I'm confused as to what the lights are supposed to indicate on the dash there. Now, oh well. Fuck, that looks good. I wish we could have the Big Bang livery on it, though. Or some other livery on it, because I have a couple that I haven't actually used yet. Now, in a sense, they're kind of useless. Oh, hey, we needed that for some paint jobs. Um, where, oh, where? Uh, it's this way. All right, well, perfect time to... Uh, this button. There we go. Bear with... No! Damn it! Son of a bitch! Okay, I need some better gear than this. Burned all... Hyperion. Precision. Or Luckily, it doesn't seem to have done anything. Do I not have chocobos rented? Am I out of chocobos? I feel like I might be out of chocobos, day. and that's yeah. pretty, pretty shitty, to be completely honest. Chocobos make life a lot easier. <sighs> Especially with us not having a camp to eat at. Ah, yes, the other thing I was thinking I was going to do today, after we get our picture up here, now that we have our flying car, I'm going to figure out Castle Mark, Castle Mark Tower. I'm going to finish it off, because I want my last, well, my second last fucking Imperial Arm, Royal Arm, um, dead person, sword, whatever. And then, uh, that should give me the quest line or the ability to go get the last one, which will be awesome, and then I'll have all 13, I think. And I should still have, because the game, like, ended and shit like that, but I saved. Um, so I should still have the, like, all of the summons. So that's gonna be sweet. I'm gonna have to try some of those out when they present the opportunity to us. What else? I might do some fishing later on tonight. I'm not entirely sure if I've, uh... Really gotten back up to that point where I'm ready to do some fishing. I am kind of curious about the hidden dungeon available only with the car. Sapper tails, huh? Here's my Libra. What are they? Yeah, normal swords. Um. Best thing I need now. Eyes good. Mouth closed. Hey! I figured considering they're low level, it'd be basically a one-hit shot. Plus, right. 
the Durandal is kind of weak against them because of the whole, it's a holy weapon. Actually, considering we're not fighting demons right now, let's just swap that out right now to the Blood Sword, I think. Engine Blade is good, but... Yeah, I mean, really, the Spirit and Magic bonus aren't that great in absorbing the elemental powers. Like, I don't really need that. I don't use my magic. Blood Sword, on the other hand, actually absorbs health from people, which is fucking way better. Hop, skip, jump, hop, skip, jump, hop, skip, jump. Spirit Horns, I don't remember what you're weak against. Oh, Sword, good time. Agnes! Mark time! Agnes! Stay on your feet! Bam. No big deal. Um, AP, we've got 42. Gear, Gladios. Hmm. We'll put that one on too. Finesse, I never really can guarantee anything, but generally speaking, time and um, assault, I can get pretty much oh, assault or down. So. Hey, where'd you learn that one, Knox? Bam, 3 AP for that one. Nice. Back yeah, see, it. Finesse was still a D, but... <clears throat> At least this way we'll start to spam a little bit more AP. Just from this hill. And honestly, I believe that's part of why they put it in as a way to spam AP, because just going around, like, little low-level fights that you can finish in 30 seconds, you can get, you know, one... Well, sorry, two to four AP, I guess. Depending on how many AP you get just from the fight, let alone if you can do it with finesse. Kettiger Ginger? Oh yeah, I still need to find those berries that that lady, the one chick, is looking for for her recipe. That I'm clueless as to where to find the berries or whatever. It's another one of those things that I might look up. At this point in time, it's post-game. It's just problematic to always have to look for this shit, so... Let's just catch our breath here quickly. Could always change my equipment to the stamina bangle. Or thing. Yeah, fuck it. The Magitek shields grants what? I don't remember. Alright, vitality and health. That's why I've got so much. Stamina, stamina badge, that's the one. Now we can go forever. Ah, oh, there's an item back there. I was gonna say, I remember hanging my ass off here and almost falling off just for an item. There's one there again, of course. At least that one was closer to me, not right on the fucking edge where we can fall off. That being said, it's probably been like 20 episodes since I've been here. It's been a fucking while. Oh shit, not that way. Probably not the best shoes to be climbing a fucking volcano in. But what are you gonna do? 
What is over here? More kittinger. Kittier ginger. Kittier ginger. Kater? Kittier? Kittier? I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to pronounce it. But I could like it. Oh! You're on fire today! No big deal. That's costing your life. Bam, bam, bam. I was gonna okay. say, so we got four for that one. Was that Fuck perfect yeah. or what? I'll give you that. Oracle Ascension coin. Fuck yeah. Need to collect as many of those as we possibly can. I would definitely like the um, the ribbon before we start the new game plus. Although I don't know if I actually will until the uh, the story DLCs come out. Yeah. And then I'll just play the story DLCs in the story, you know? Bam, bam, freeze. Oh, we've got wyverns and, um, thunder rocks. Uh, shield gun... And spear sword, so do that, and then gear. We need a shield for me. Black Prince, power shield. That one gives me a better bonus. <laughs> This is like the real yeah. life art. Ah! Yeah. Get the fuck off me! Ah! Ah! Here I am! See you better airs! Mark time. Got the Thunder Rock over here still. That should have been a whole nother combat right there that should have ended in one fucking hit, but that being said, whatever. Wyvern um Wyvern collectibles, I guess you could call them, sell for a pretty good price, so I'm alright with losing out on a bit of AP for that one. I was gonna say, where the hell? Wouldn't it have just kind of been easier to chuck something up that way? Oh well, whatever. Looks like this episode's gonna go a little bit long. We'll climb up here, we'll camp, we'll uh, get our picture, and then we'll call it an episode. <coughs> Breaking the car before getting the Type R and then driving it back to Hammerhead took a little longer than I was expecting. So, killed some of the episode time. But that being said, I'm still, I'm still calling it fairly fucking successful. And the fact that it is now sundown even perpetuates the idea that we need to spend the night. The shadows moving that fast are a little bit crazy, but... from the branches. Cool. Perfect time you to camp, make camp Wait. Is this even the right camp, or is this an earlier camp? No, this is the right camp, and then we gotta go this way to get the picture. Yeah, yeah. Alright. We'll camp out for the night. Are we seriously sleeping here? 
Are you, you kidding me? Of course place. we're fucking sleep. This is an awesome place to sleep. We're also on the side of a, of a volcano that's like not, in in my knowledge, not active. So I don't know why you're all upset. What? 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 Oh, right, right, because it's a quest thing. Right, I totally forgot about that. Uh, it takes a behemoth round, and it's the cup noodles, the special cup noodles for um, Gladio that he's wanted for a very long time. <clears throat> I figured that was going to be something that was a choice that you could do later, but it's kind of good that it, I would have completely forgot about it. Owlis Haven? cool I can't believe noodles are actually that's fucking wow good job guys still the fact that he's drinking more of the soup like come on man there ain't gonna be nothing left in there for you definitely gotta save that one I'm pretty sure we were in the air at this point. Which is fucking hey, awesome. This one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. That is a pretty good combat photo. Okay then. Like American sniper hero. <laughs> or Lucian sniper. I wonder if we'll get anything combo-wise with Gladio over the soup. You know something? Going through all that trouble to make our own custom cup, it's made me appreciate cup noodles even more. Perhaps we truly <laughs> can't improve upon perfection. It's not about finding the single best ingredient. It's about crafting that perfect blend of meat, egg, and shrimp. That harmony of flavors is key. Yeah, you're right. Makes you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. I wonder if they got sponsored for that shit. Cup noodles. Cup noodles. A better version of cup noodles, I guess? Like a custom version? Cool. Uh, map wise. So we can go down this way, and that takes us downwards into this tomb, which we've already, um,. We've already been in the Tomb of the Fierce, but we need to go back the way we came to get the picture for Vive. Which means we're going to have to fight again, but... I mean, honestly, there's a good chance I can just kind of warp attack one of those creatures, one of the wyverns or the thunder rocks, and uh, avoid having to crawl down the second flight. That'd be pretty epic. And I wouldn't complain about the time saved.
Batman. Yeah. Watch yourself, not. I know. Right up to it. Bartro, you're up. Oh, hi there, opening. Try this. I'm impressed. Hey! Wait, I got an A on my time as well. Why did I not get an extra point? Does it have to be A plus? Because that's kind of different. Maybe it does have to be an A plus. Hmm. I thought What's it was just right? an A. Got it. Do we have to fight something up here? The Rock of Ravita. Sounds like a giant fucking creature of some type that we're gonna have to kill. It also kind of seems like we might not have been up here. It's kind of a tucked out of the way pocket that doesn't have anything like specific about it. No, never mind. No, well, maybe because that that was an unspotted um, un unspotted ingredient cluster on the map, I think. No, well, I don't know. Guys, we got a little problem over here. Cool. We'll take care of it. Alone? I wasn't part of the deal. Well, well. God damn it. Damn flying creatures. Hard to get a good time on them. Simply breathtaking, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me get this shot. Let's head back. Ooh! Ouch, let ouch, me ouch, take some ouch, pictures. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot. There we go. Freddy else just about be. Yep, there we go. As their shit recharges, once theirs is full, we'll fast travel back and we'll call it an episode. Actually, we'll just call it an episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, you can leave a comment, your thoughts, your critiques, your criticisms, what kind of things you'd like to see on the channel next, um, being video games and the, the like. Um, other than that, if you haven't left a sub already, do so. Much more content coming. If you're watching on the PlayStation, leave a follow. And as always, hit the share button to spread the word of Kush Coffee and Games. Help grow the little community that we have as a whole. Thanks for watching, and peace out, motherfuckers. I'll see you very shortly in the next episode.